no way to negotiate with them or to foresee anything like that. No. <laughs> well, it is a real great honor and pleasure uh, to welcome you, to welcome you, Secretary of Defense, not only as the Secretary of our greatest ally, but also as a former general, and not only a general, a real soldier and a leader that you, that uh, uh, to lead soldiers, it means to lead what you called a, a um, teamwork. And uh, every one of uh, our former generals are respecting you so much, saying that you was one of the greatest leaders and generals of uh, the army and they are appreciating very much. I would like to take this opportunity to thank the Americans and our allies about uh, our helping us and uh, uh, supporting us with the MOU, signing the MOU, <coughs> helping us very much. And I would like really to emphasize that uh, carrying the burden of uh, uh, security that falls on our so uh, shoulders. And uh, you know what are those burdens. And um, after the MOU, I know that we, every one of us remember the need of the QME, which is something that in Hebrew sounds very good, uh, because in Hebrew we have the uh, word QME. And um, I know that everyone is paying a lot of attention to uh, this need. Mm -hmm. um, we are very committed. Uh, to the need to build, uh, the need of building trust with the Palestinians. And I know how you are devoted to this mission. Mm -hmm. um, and I believe that uh, 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 our future is uh, to understand that we are not uh, doomed to live together. Uh, we, our destiny is to live together. Nevertheless, the miss of trust mm -hmm. between the two people, it make, make it almost impossible uh, to find a way in order to bring to an end not only a conflict, but a real tragedy. Uh, we are living together. We are sharing the same land. Um, we have responsibilities, but we have to trust one each other in order to understand that uh, we can live together. Unfortunately, for the time being, we are wasting a lot, 120 years. It's not only one side, it's both sides, but uh, the uh, uh, rejection of uh, many of our uh, neighbors, the Palestinians, our cousins, the Palestinians, to the very idea of the existence of mm -hmm. the state of Israel uh, really does not help us in the last 100 years since the size pico agreement. But I would like to also emphasize that I'm not so sure Actually, I'm, I'm not sure at all that uh, bringing to an end the conflict, which is a must, uh, will bring us to any kind of uh, solution to what is going on here in the region. Um, we have learned in universities and in the army that the enemy of your enemy is uh, your friend. Uh, unfortunately, not necessarily so. We find ourselves in a position that uh, we are surrounded by uh, more than five uh, um, armies. Every one of them is fighting the other one. No one of them is uh, really uh, feeling a lot of um, sympathy to uh, the state of Israel. And uh, that goes on and what is going on here. And uh, now we have new neighbors and uh, our, the, the Russians and I met uh, uh, President Putin, and uh, he was talking to me saying, you are a very good friend of the Americans. I say, I confess, I admit with a lot of pride. But I tell them that uh, we are going to keep every interest uh, that we find as necessary for us in uh, all around the world, especially on the uh, Black Sea. And uh, we got to understanding about, uh, with uh, your knowledge, of course, uh, about uh, the uh, the uh, details that we had to understand and to find a way in order to cooperate uh, um, uh, on a tactic basis uh, in order to make it possible for all of us to, to be on the same earth space when you have the SA-300. Mm -hmm. And uh, because of that, uh, Mr. Um, uh, Secretary, 
Uh, I would like to welcome you once again. Uh, you know that we are facing a lot of challenges mm -hmm. and uh, the need uh, to understand that uh, in the Middle East there are no shortcuts. Mm -hmm. No shortcuts. <clears throat> Everything, every challenge is an opportunity. Uh, nevertheless, uh, some of the challenges should be handled. I would like uh, to thank the um, uh, President, uh, former President Obama and President Trump about the, um, the, the understanding of uh, the, need of, the needs of Israel, and we are looking forward, and we are looking mm -hmm. forward knowing that we have a great friend in the, the Pentagon and the, in the uh, uh, administration, and we welcome you with, from the bottom of our heart. Thank you so very much. Well, thank you, uh, Mr. President, for making time. I know how busy you are. Uh, but it's an honor and a privilege to be here, the first member of the new administration's cabinet to visit Israel. Uh, we are committed to Israel's defense. We support Israel's internal security and Israel's external security. Uh, obviously, the week before the Holocaust remembrance time, uh, it's important we all remind ourselves if good people don't band together and work together, across all religious and all ethnic lines, then bad people can dominate, and we're not going to allow it. We're going to work very, very closely. Uh, my view is that relationships do not stay the same. They either get better or they get weaker. And our commitment is to make these relationships stronger. The military-to-military -military relationship, Mr. President, has always been good. But I will just tell you that uh, we intend to make it the strongest ever and work with all our friends in the region and elsewhere in terms of security. We have two fundamental threats here. Uh, one is from terrorism. The other is from Iran. And we cannot allow those threats to break apart the human connections between those of us who are committed to peace and prosperity and tolerance for each other. And we have seen uh, new challenges arise, but as you point out, there are new opportunities, Mr. President. And we will work together with you and other like-minded nations. We're not alone in how we look at terrorists. We're not alone how we look at Iran's problems. So it, it's time for us to all work together. But certainly uh, the enduring relationship with Israel uh, will be stronger every day. But thank you again for the very warm welcome, God Mr. Bless, President. God thank bless you. you. God bless America. God bless the President. Thank Trump. you, sir. Thank, thank you. you. Mr. President, thank you. Very kind of you. <clears throat>